And if you want to get money from them, they believe that there's only one true God, the Bible's infallible, there's the Holy Trinity, and salvation's only through Christ, right? Good. So, who gets money from them? Well, Americans for Prosperity. They go around acting as if they're some kind of secular libertarians. Really? The Heritage Foundation. They're on television news acting like they're secular guys. They're not. The Cato Institute. Federalist Society. They're vetting every single judge that, that Trump is putting on the federal judiciary. They get money from the Christian Foundation. What I'm not saying that every single analyst at the Cato Institute believes this. They probably don't. But I've done grants, and somebody's got to sign that application and check that block. That we believe that. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, fourth generation warfare strategy underlies the Christian rights strategy, which is to delegitimize the federal government, the Constitution, various groups, various institutions, so that they can come to power which is their dominion, dominionism mandate and their Seven Mountains doctrine, okay? They have made no, they have never hidden the fact that they're going to undermine the legitimacy of all these institutions. They've never hidden the fact that they want to recreate a Christian society. They've never hidden that they want to dominate all the institutions of society. They've never hidden that they, they want to dominate science and philosophy because any science that contradicts the Bible is illegitimate. So evolution is illegitimate. Big Bang Theory is illegitimate. Climate change is illegitimate because it doesn't conform to the Bible. They want to dominate all morals and social life. They want to say who you can love, how you can love, when you can love, and whatever doesn't conform with that is illegitimate. And this is the way they want to dominate society. Now, this is a very peculiar brand of Christianity. And I don't get into the idea of, well, no true Christian would do that because that's just a fallacy. These are people who are white, conservative, evangelical, neo-fundamentalist Christians who could also be charismatic, who could also be Pentecostalist, whatever. But it's a sliver of Christianity. And so addressing a humanist organization is to say, look, a lot of people are under threat, not just atheists. There are Christians who are your potential allies. There are Jews who are your potential allies. Muslims who are your potential allies. The fact that they may believe in God devoutly does not matter, and it should not matter to you. We're all going to end up in the camps. They have their way. You cannot divide your own forces because the Christian right has violated the first rule of strategic thinking that you get at the military academies. The first rule is the conservation of enemies, which means you don't multiply your enemies. They have essentially said everybody who's not with them is the enemy, and the enemy is the vast majority of the American people. So don't go dividing the American people. You know my briefing. All right. So when are we going to judge the treason and hang? I'll just turn this off. Is that right? I mean, I mean, I'm going to judge the treason.